My name is Mr. Kunkel, and I am a math teacher. I teach AP Statistics, Algebra 2, and Algebra 1. I became an AP teacher about 10 years ago, uh, when I was about 40, and we wanted to uh, add a, an AP course. We wanted to go from regular statistics to AP statistics, so I went and got, um, got it approved through College Board. So I try to make sure we cover all the material. We try to make sure that we get all, in our case, it's 12 chapters. It is sometimes fairly challenging to stick to the curriculum, especially with all the different things that happen within the regular school district calendar but we've been able to do that all of the years and um, cover all the material, and so that allows the students to feel confident when they take the test. From teaching AP, I've learned that it's important to make sure that we keep ourselves moving. If I end up being uh, too nice or, or sort of slow down too much and we don't cover the material, then when we get to April, we can be in some trouble and uh, you know, not have the students well prepared uh, those that are, you know, really working to get that three, four, or five on the exam. So my classes this year, we have 78 students taking the AP exam, which is the most ever. So it's been a little challenging that way, but the positives are uh, the students are really good workers, and they really do step up to the plate when they realize that I'm serious about covering the material. And then, of course, around July 4th, when the exam scores come out, uh, I'm always, you know, a little uh, excited, but also a little saddened if uh, students don't do quite as well as they would have liked, and of course as I would have liked as well for them.